when your opponent has gotten to a state of guard burst, as you know, you get a free counter hit combo of your choice. Now depending on the situation, you're going to want to do different things. It's probably the very first guard burst combo you've learned was probably counter hit 8B plus K, back turn B plus K, and 3-3 three, three BB uh, for 67 damage. And that's great and all, and it may, it, it, if you manage to break somebody at the end of a round or if they have low health, it's an easy four hit combo to land, all completely guaranteed, um, but it's not her best follow up option for guard burst, especially if she has meter. If she has no meter, that's going to be her mid-screen follow-up of choice. We're going to assume that she has meter to spend. If you want to stick with counter hit 8B plus K, one combo you can do is 8B plus K, back turn B plus K, while standing B, into back turn B plus K again and 6XK for 82 damage. However, as I've showed you in the last part, you can tech before the off the ground OTG while standing B has a chance to relaunch. If you know they're going to tech, what you can do is do Quake Stun after back turn B plus K instead. And you get this huge tech trap. And I'll show it again. You have to do Quake Stun immediately. If they decide not to tech, Quake Stun is just going to hit them on the ground for no damage, but it'll build you a decent amount of meter anyway. It is a gamble. You're, you're either getting a whole bunch of damage on a correct read, or you're going to get very little damage on an incorrect read. And since you spent so much time trying to break their guard in the first place, uh, you're not going to oftentimes want to give up that kind of free damage. So we're going to move on to the two main combos that you should always use if you have at least one CE available. If you have at least one CE available, you should always, always, always do 6-6-BB into CE. The reason for that is because it's, it's a quick, it's a quick 90 plus damage and it can be done no matter what move you use to break. Ninety-eight. Nine, so somewhere around ninety-eight, ninety-nine damage um, is how much that that combo is going to cost. If you're already near the wall, it doesn't matter what you break with. You can always answer with 4A plus B. And 4A plus B does a considerable amount of damage. The next combo I'm going to show you requires specific timing, and that's the 4-4-A hold combo. Now, 4-4-A hold has been nerfed in the patch to the point where the startup is slower. And while it didn't affect the move itself, it affected the, the post-guard burst options. Now, there's only three different types of guard breaks. Well, four, but three practical ones. Um, there's three practical guard breaks that you can use to set this up to be the guaranteed post guard burst follow up. And those three moves are 1B plus K, 4-4K, and while standing K. These three moves, if they're the moves that end up breaking the gauge, you will have plenty of time to buffer in 4-4A hold and get the maximum damage. After what you just saw, You'll probably notice that if you were to break the gauge with something like, say, 3B, they recover in time to block your 4-4-A hold and can punish you. Um, and that's all because of the slower startup. So, if you want to break somebody and get that combo, then you have to use one of these three options.
like those three there. So 4-4-K, 1-B plus K, and while rising K, if they are the move that guard bursts, you will get 4-4-A hold for free, and you'll get the most damage that she can produce, uh, only spending one Brave Edge. If you're near a wall, it's even better. Uh, those should be the focal point when your, ga when your opponent's gauge is in the red, but if you notice that, that the one thing in common with them all is that they're all really linear, easily steppable, and easily avoidable. The good news is, if you have a CE in stock, they have to worry about either getting broken with one of these moves, or anything else, so that you can get either 6-6-BB into CE, or you can get 4-4-A hold into AA brain damage. For some characters, you can even start your combo with 1-A. And it does pretty much the same thing. Um, that is character specific. It's also range specific. So um, I wouldn't advise that unless you knew you were right next to a wall and you needed a wall combo to kill your opponent. Um, otherwise, I would stick to 6-6-BB into CE for anything that's not those special guard breaks. And if you do land a special guard break, 4-4-A hold is your go-to option. Well, that about covers the post guard burst. So if you've successfully managed to poke your way around their defense and bust their guard open, you're not going to have too much more trouble getting them to push buttons. So, um, this has been Zero Effect with another episode of Learning Lei Sha. Uh, stay tuned for episode 6 in the coming weeks. Later.